So we find uh, the use of uh, the being used according to the context. I talked about before names of important events like the Reformation, the French Revolution, uh, the Great War of, you know, a war which took place. So we use before important events. We use before an epithet of, you know, attached to a personal proper noun. So Alexander the Great. Number 11, before an adverb with comparative, like all the best, the nearer the bone, the sweeter the meat. Okay, before the name of a nation, community, or a class of people, like the Jains, the Hindus, the French, the Sikhs, to make a proper noun common. Usually, proper noun, we, we don't put the Navya, the Shravani, the Uttam. We don't put, it's wrong. It's wrong to use. But when we are trying to make a proper noun, a common noun, that's when the proper noun common, we say, see, Kalidas is the Shakespeare of India. Shakespeare is a proper noun, but we use to make it common. That is, he is the Shakespeare of India. Mumbai is the London of the East. So we do use uh, the, the according to the context. There are, till here, is it clear, all of you all? Do you want me to do a quick recap? I talked about there are two kinds of articles, the and an. I talked about definite article or specific article being the, and indefinite non specific article is a and an. Aniket, when I say let's read the book, what does it mean? I'm a particular book. A particular book. Okay. Chris Paul, when I say let's read a book, what does it mean? And. And. What does it mean? It means let's read a book means is it specific or non-specific? Non-specific. Yes. Non very good. Thank you. So moving on, I talked about use of A and AN according to sound. And then I talked about uh, use of A and AN according to context. I explained to you about use of the according to the context. I hope you've made, uh, you know, you figured it out. You've already done at your school level till your plus two level. But this is just a recap of where we can use articles. Okay, so moving on to omission of articles.